Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to compare the Nest security system versus the Ring security system. Give you a rundown of the features of both these security systems, give you my opinion after using these for a year plus, and the information that you need if you are in the market for a DIY security system so you can get the right devices and the right setup for your home to protect your home or family. So let's get right into it. I think the biggest difference between these two systems that should be noted is the sensors and how they operate. So the Nest security system works with these motion sensor and window and door sensor combo sensors. It's all one unit and it has two sensors in it. So what you do is you place this on a window or a door and if that window or door is open when you've got the alarm set, uh, it will alarm. Now it also has a motion sensor down here in the bottom. So if you have that set to away mode and that motion sensor is active, then if there's motion detected, it will also trigger the alarm. But there's only one sensor for the Nest security system. Versus the Ring security system has a variety of sensors. So uh, this is the Ring window and door sensor right here. Uh, just goes at a window or door just like the other one. And when your door or window is opened and you have the alarm set, uh, it will ring the alarm and you just peel and stick these uh, right on the door. Both of them offer peel and stick mounting with an adhesive that's very similar to like a GoPro mount. It's very strong, but you can also use screws. I just use the adhesive and both of them have stayed up in my house, no problem. Now, they also have a motion sensor for the ring security system. So the window and door sensor and the motion sensors are separate. Now there's a couple advantages of this because you don't always want to have a motion sensor anywhere you have a window and door sensor. So with the ring system, you can put window and door sensors where you want them and you can put motion sensors where you want them. And they have a lower cost than the Nest sensors per sensor because you're just getting one or the other here. What's nice about that also is that I can position a motion sensor without having to put a window door sensor somewhere. So I have a motion sensor, for instance, in my garage, and it's nice that I don't have to pay more for one of these combo window and door sensors, and it would just be kind of weird sticking in the middle of my garage on the wall like so. Uh, but one of the other advantages of the Ring security system, and I'm just gonna look at my notes here, is all the other different sensors that it has. Um, they have a smoke detector listener device, which is uh, this one right here. And what this does is it's a retrofit for your existing smoke detector or uh, carbon monoxide detector. And you just place this right next to it. It's battery powered and it will detect if your smoke detector or CO detector has a sound when it's triggered and it will connect it to the ring alarm. So you don't have to remove your existing smoke detectors. This will automatically alert you if one of them goes off and it functions just like a security system that had a smoke detector built in. So I really like that. Now Ring does also have smoke detectors that are compatible and will work with the Ring security system. The Nest security system doesn't have smoke detectors that are integrated into it. They are Nest smoke detectors, but they don't necessarily at this point work with the security system for professional monitoring per se. There's also a freeze flood sensor which is what I have in my home. And I actually, I love that sensor. Uh, I've got it underneath my sink and it has alerted me when our house got pretty cold. Uh, one day it'll alert you if the temperature goes under 40 degrees and it will also alert you if there is any kind of water intrusion into your house or there is a leak detected. So not only safety for your home and your family, but can give you peace of mind from a water leak, which I really like. The Ring security system also has a panic button sensor, which is basically a button you press just to trigger the alarm, which I really like because that's a great way to surprise someone, ward them off with the panic button, or if you are having a true emergency and you press that panic button, if you have the subscription service, it's a way that you could alert the call center and authorities if you're having a problem, you just press it and you may not have your phone nearby or another way to contact somebody. So it's kind of a, an emergency button that I really like the idea of that sensor. Uh, there's also sirens that can be added to this. So you can have multiple sirens. Uh, the base station has a siren built in. It's really loud. I can hear it throughout my house, but let's say you have a bigger house or maybe a basement or a garage and you want the siren to blare outside or for your neighbors to hear, you can add additional sirens to that ring alarm which you can't really do with the Nest Alarm. The Nest security system has the 
base station and that is where the speaker and siren is located. The ring system has a base station where the security system lives and is plugged in and it has the alarm there and the siren, but you can place multiple sirens other places, which is something that I really like. There's also a retrofit alarm that goes with the ring security system if you want. And what that retrofit alarm does, if you have a home that has existing security wiring, you can just wire those cables into this ring retrofit alarm, get all the smart capability where you can control it from your phone and you can even control it with Alexa or your voice or from the keypad without having to buy new sensors. Um, these sensors are all battery powered, both the Nest and the ring sensors. So you can just put them up wherever you need without any wiring. But Ring gives you an option if you want to use your existing sensors, you can get that retrofit alarm kit for the Ring security system. And I think it's a great way to, one, cut down on the cost, but utilize existing infrastructure with your system. The Nest doesn't currently have any kind of retrofit system that is compatible with the security system. So I think for the Ring, that's a really nice feature to have that retrofit option. Now, let's talk about the cost per month for these and kind of the overall cost. Um, the Nest does come in at a higher price point for the initial system than the Ring, and the sensors are more expensive per sensor because they are that built-in motion sensor and window and door sensor for the Nest. So the Ring comes in at a lower price point for the overall system. You can get like five or eight pack, eight piece packages uh, right on Amazon. We'll put a link to that below, or I think there's even 10 piece packages. And then you can customize and add whatever sensors you want for your home. So overall, the cost for Nest is more than the Ring. Now, the monthly cost is something that you're gonna be paying long term, and the Ring has a much lower monthly cost than the Nest. The Nest, uh, for a month month, no contract uh, professional monitoring, that's $29 per month. And if you have video cameras uh, from Nest or anything like that, you're gonna have to pay additional for those video cameras. The ring security system for professional monitoring is $10 per month. And that includes unlimited video storage data for an unlimited number of ring doorbells, ring cameras, and uh, ring interior cameras. So any kind of ring camera that you have or ring doorbell, it's going to give you free cloud storage on an unlimited number of Ring devices in one location. And I think it's between 30 and 60 days that store that footage will be stored. And then it just you know recycles and writes over itself. So that's pretty good because you get not only the security system and you also get the video storage for free for all those Ring devices with the Ring alarm system. So overall, lower cost for the initial purchase and lower monthly cost. This is a higher cost and higher monthly costs. So when you compare Nest security system versus the Ring security system, the Nest is more expensive. And I wouldn't necessarily say it has any more features than the Ring security system. The Ring security system does have more features. Now that's not to say the Nest isn't a good system. Both of them are good systems. But I think Ring kind of went the approach of looking at more traditional security systems and making sure they had all those sensors incorporated where Nest kind of want to create their own new thing and didn't necessarily have all the other options that the Ring security system has. If you're getting a DIY security system, you probably want to have your own control of the system or you don't want to pay that monthly cost, which is where I think the Ring has that advantage over a traditional security system and the Nest security system because it is a lower price point for that professional monitoring. Now, both of these will work without professional monitoring. Uh, you don't have to have it. The alarm will go off, it'll alert you on your phone, it'll make a ton of noise, but it won't call uh, the call center, which in turn then dispatches first responders if there's an issue. So when you get the professional monitoring, it will call a call center, they check to make sure that you're all right, and if you're not all right or you don't respond, they're gonna call first responders and they're gonna send them to your house from that alarm. Overall, both call centers, they work just like any other security system call center. Uh, I wouldn't say one's better than the other. They both do a great job and work just like any other security system call center and kind of are the status quo. Uh, that stuff's you know regulated in a lot of states how call centers respond and what they do. So it's pretty much across the board, very similar for all different security systems, regardless if it's Nest versus Ring or any other security system really out there, um, like a Simply Safe maybe, or uh, another big brand name. 
So another thing that I really like about the Ring security system over the Nest is the Nest only has one keypad. Okay, so with the keypads, that's how you arm and disarm the system. Uh, and you can also arm them via your phone and the Nest does have this RFID tag that you can arm it with or you can arm it via Google uh, Voice. If you have Google Home or Google Mini, you can go ahead and say Nest Arm Security System or Google Arm Security System. So there's four ways to do it, but there's only one keypad. With the Ring system, you have these rechargeable keypads uh, right here. And uh, you can place these anywhere. The batteries on these last six months to a year. I've probably only charged it up once or twice. And you can mount this anywhere. So I just put one over where my old security system, the hole was, or the keypad. And that was like five seconds. Anybody can do it because there's no wiring required for this. But you can have multiple keypads, which is a huge benefit. Because let's say you have a garage, a front door, and maybe a back entrance or a basement any of those places that you go into your house, if you're gonna be using your security system a lot, you wanna have a keypad so that you remember to turn it on or off when you leave your home. And with the Nest, you only have that one station. With the Ring, you can have multiple stations. So maybe you have one in your garage, maybe you have one at your front door, and maybe one in the master bedroom. I found having one of these uh, upstairs near where I sleep at night is really easy then because I remember to turn it on every night. Now, obviously you can do this from your phone or you can use Alexa to arm the security system, but sometimes it's just easy to just press the buttons, have this right by your bedside or in a, uh, a bedside table or a nightstand, and you can just arm it real quick, know that it's armed, and in the morning, let's say you've got a dog or something, uh, you can go ahead and disarm it real quick and go outside and not worry about it. So it's nice to have one near a front door or your garage, wherever you use the most. And then it's nice to have one near wherever you're gonna sleep at night so that you can disarm and arm the system with this. With the Nest, you don't have that option. You only have that one station. So you've either gotta go down to where it's at or you've gotta turn it on or off with your phone or one of the key fobs or use Google. So I really think having multiple keypads is a huge advantage with the Ring system over the Nest system when you're comparing the two. Now the Ring system, you can there's the ways that you can arm it is with Alexa. You can arm it uh, via the keypad or you can arm it via the app. And both of these systems are what I would call smart security systems. So you can arm them from your phone and you can also see the status of what's going on with your security system right from your phone. So you can turn it on and off from your phone remotely. Let's say you went on vacation, you forgot, did I arm the security system? With either of these, it'll let you turn it on or off with your phone. But they also show you the status, if any of the motion sensors have been tripped, if the doors have been tripped, and it'll alert you on your phone. Um, and with professional monitoring, for that monthly cost, it will call a call center if there's an issue. Without the professional monitoring, it'll still alert you on your phone, but you will have to call the uh, authorities if you have an emergency. Another nice feature of both of them is uh, they have cellular backup and they have battery backup. So uh, pretty much like 24 to 48 hours, the batteries will last on these if there's a power outage, so your system will still be securing your home. And what cellular backup does is if your Wi-Fi goes out, the alarm will still function and be able to notify a call center. Now for the Nest, the cellular backup's only available if you get that monthly plan. With the Ring, what has been amazing is cellular backup works even when you don't pay for a monthly plan, which I thought was crazy. I don't know how they do that. They probably will change that in some time in the future, but cellular backup works even without the monthly plan currently. They might change that in the future, but that's nice. You're getting a really nice feature where if your Wi-Fi network goes down for whatever reason, you're still going to get an alert from one of these, either one of these systems and it'll let you know that somebody is uh, in your house. Um, in terms of the apps for both of these, uh, they both are nice apps. They work well, they allow you to arm, disarm, look at the status. I wouldn't say there's a big difference between the two of them. Uh, if you have a Ring doorbell, it's gonna be on that same app or a Ring camera as that uh, device. The Nest system works on the Nest app, so if you already have a Nest thermostat, uh, Nest Smoke Detector or Nest Lock, they're all gonna be on the same app with the Nest Security System. A nice feature if you do have the Nest Lock is that that will automatically disarm the system if you put your code into the Nest Lock rather than having to go to the keypad. So that's a nice feature. The Ring also does have that feature with some compatible locks. Those locks just aren't made by Ring. They're third-party locks that work with Ring. So there's a lot of devices that will 
work with Ring, which I have found to be good devices, um, they're just not made by Ring. So more of an open architecture here versus maybe a little bit more closed architecture with the Nest. They want everything to be in that Nest ecosystem. With Ring, they want it to be in that Ring ecosystem, but they're gonna allow you to have some other devices that are made to work with this. And the Ring system works with the Z-Wave system, which is a pretty common and popular home automation protocol. So in the future, there may be other devices that will work with the Ring system because Z-Wave is a very standardized protocol, which makes it easy to develop devices for the Ring system. The Nest system works on a uh, more closed network, Nest's own home automation protocol. They have all different names for it. It's been Nest Weave at one point and all kinds of other stuff, but it's a little bit harder to develop devices that will work within that Nest uh, system because Z-Wave is standardized. That's a overall home automation protocol where Nest is a more closed system. Uh, it's a proprietary kind of communication system really. Uh, overall, the apps for both these systems, uh, they work good. There's nothing really to complain about there. They work, they do their job. Um, I'd say those are equivalent when you're comparing the Nest versus Ring, the apps for both these devices. They do their job, they allow you to arm the system, they allow you to see what's going on and check in on your home. So not really a big difference there. Overall, if I was in the market uh, for one of these security systems, you know, you really gotta look at what features are important to you. You gotta look at uh, what the monthly cost is and how that plays into the factor and how much accessories are or extra devices are. Because let's say you get a nice security system, you get it set up, but you're not covering some parts of your home because you don't have the budget for that or you think it's too expensive, then you're not really protecting your whole home. So I think it really is important to consider the monthly cost, the overall cost of the system, and then sensor upgrades when you're looking at either two of these devices. So I hope that helps you understand the Nest security system versus the Ring security system. And give us some comments below if you have questions. And thank you for watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to help support this channel or click on any of the links below. Thank you.